Welcome everybody, my name is Johannes. I'm here to talk to you today about the weird and wonderful world of breathing exercises, but also the philosophy that comes to inform our practice, the principles and the protocols that we use at Breathless to optimize, revolutionize and completely influence and inspire every single breath you take moving forward. Now, what is breath work? It's a big question and first we must understand that there isn't just one breathwork technique, there isn't just one school of thought, there isn't just one philosophy, one approach, one methodology for breathing. It's more like an umbrella term, right? And so in the breathwork umbrella, there are many different approaches to how to breathe and how to use breathwork to create different outcomes. We look at it more as a spectrum, right? So on the more right side of the spectrum, we have things like the academic, right, the medical, the more diagnostic forms of breathing, where we really look at optimizing every single breath you take, restoring the natural flow of breathing, working with breathing, retraining to create better health, well-being, get the most out of every single breath you take. Whereas more left of field, we're looking more at practices such as breakthrough breath work, things that can help you not only get inspired and connect to something bigger and deeper than yourself, but also have these big altered states of consciousness and create these deep, 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 meaningful, powerful experiences within the psyche, within the body, and really work with a more somatic approach to breathing exercises. And in our framework, in our philosophy that we're going to work with for the next seven days, we love all the different breathing techniques and we actually believe that to create wholeness in the body, in the breath, we need the full spectrum of breathing exercises. So for starters, the more right of field, a lot of this comes from the work of Dr. Konstantin Buteyko, who was a revolutionary doctor in the 1960s, coming from Ukraine, Russia, doing all this amazing, amazing research into the world of breathing. He saved his own life using breathing. He had severe hypertension. His heart rate was through the roof, right? And when he started noticing his own breathing patterns, it became a really interesting question of, am I sick because I breathe too much? Or because I breathe too much, am I sick, right? And he started walking around the hospitals he was working in as a medical doctor and noticing that regardless of why people were there, every single person with ill health was breathing too much. Now this has since been documented and it shows to be true today as it ever has been, is when we are ill, we over breathe. When we over breathe, we become ill. Buteyko's whole approach was about reverse engineering that, that chicken or the egg scenario, right? Going. What if we help people breathe better, breathe easier, will their health restore? And it did. And what if we restore people's health? Will their breathing better? And it does. And so that created 60 years of documented research. He showed that over 126 conditions can actually find relief from restoring the natural flow of breath. Anything from epilepsy to asthma to hypertension, autoimmune conditions, cancer, you name it. The breath influences it and we can influence the breath, which is super, super powerful. Now, his approaches were quite Russian and quite dogmatic at times. And so what's happened over the last 20 years in particular is people have found more modern approaches to it and shown that actually it's not just sick people that need to work with their breathing, right? It's everybody. Breathing enhances performance at every single level, right? We get more oxygen flowing to the brain, to the muscles, to the digestive system, the nerves, they calm and balance out. When we breathe better, we live better and it doesn't have to be only for people that are sick, it's actually for everybody to improve our performance in the bedroom, the boardroom and beyond. So what's happened is we've come out of this more right of field approach and we're actually starting to meet in the middle more, right? Where we're seeing that everybody can breathe a little easier, especially in the world that we live in today. Now, more left of field, at around the same time as Dr. Buteyko was doing all of his research, there was a gentleman called Dr. Stanislav Grof, who was working with altered states of consciousness, using psychedelic assisted psychotherapy and having some amazing breakthrough results, right? That work got shut down in the end, but he decided to make it his life's work to work with people in altered states of consciousness and eventually found that within all different te- like within all different ancient cultures, right, all different ways of living, there were forms of breathing techniques, whether it was the Inuits in Northern Canada, there was African tribes in the Kalahari Desert that worked with breathing techniques. There was stories of different breathing techniques in all these different ancient cultures. And he started creating a breathing technique that is called holotropic breathwork, which was essentially holos meaning restoring wholeness, right? Restoring the spirit. And what his work centered around was actually breathing fast and having these 
breakthrough experiences using the breath to connect people to something bigger than themselves and therefore restoring wholeness. So on the left, we've got people breathing faster. On the right, we've got people breathing slower, right? Now, the beautiful thing that I see when I look at this is that they're actually on the same mission. We're just trying to help the world breathe a little easier, right? But there wasn't much communication between these two camps. I mean, it's completely different approaches, right? And so again, in the last 20 years, as researchers started to catch up with things that humans have known for very, very, very long times, mainly the power that resides in our respiratory system, we're starting to see a groundswell of people getting behind the world of breathing, but also more research coming out, more data, more practice, more people creating new and interesting breathing techniques somewhere on the spectrum so that we can actually have a holistic approach to breathing exercises. If you're going to just use one breathing technique, you're going to fall short of the mark every single time. We need a holistic approach. We need to work with our baseline breathing, right? Our breathing on a day-to-day -day basis, our breathing the 24 hours of a day that we're not doing breathing exercises, right? But we also need to have exercises that can help us discharge stress from our body, that can help our wrecked up nervous systems calm down, that can help us process stressful and even traumatic events in our life so that it unwinds the chronic tension that is residing in our respiratory system very often. So over the next seven days, over the next seven sessions, we're going to walk you through the weird and wonderful world of breathing. We're going to show you how it is that your breathing has ended up to where it is today, how you can take a very good measure and diagnose your breathing, and also how you can start to improve and give you a roadmap for optimizing every breath you take. Whereas at the same time, we're gonna look at breathing for performance, breathing whilst doing exercise. We're gonna look right in the middle. What are the breathing techniques that mix the heart and the head that end up connecting us to nature and really help us find balance in our nervous system? And then furthermore, we're gonna look at how to bring the mountain to you, how to create breathing techniques that will completely blow the roof off of your performance, right? Whilst at the same time, digging even deeper and explaining what it is to have a breakthrough experience using breath work, working with the body in this somatic way. It's actually going to be an amazing journey. A little bit of a heads up, we do work with the full spectrum. So we love going in and starting with the more mundane side of things, really looking at the science, the understanding of what is breath? right and how does it work and how can we optimize it before we get to the fireworks right if some of you want to get straight to the fireworks feel free to skip ahead if you're not interested in the lectures the explanations you can just do the practices on a daily basis and it will work for you as well i'm super excited to start uncovering this with you and uh, let me know what you find on the other side